This story begins with the man who once had it all. This is a tale of a man with a fulfilling nine to five employment. A man who's had brushes with greatness of all sizes and statures. A man who's regularly gone toe to ball against all obstacles in his way. All to come home every day to a devoted and loving wife. Yep, this is a man who had carved out his own slice of paradise and achieved what we all strive for, the American dream. But as it so happens, even in the best of times, that little slice of paradise can blow up in your face like a nuclear bomb. And, uh, speaking of dropping bombs... This is a tale of a man only known as the Postal Dude. Along with his stalwart companion, always at his side, Champ. These two have toughed it out together through the thickest and thin. And after nearly losing it all, they come to realize that all they really need in life is their health, happiness, and that white trash heap on wheels they fondly call home. If they had remembered to lock the door, that is. Crap. Damn it, champ, I thought you were guarding the car. Figures. But in these fortuitous times, even when it seems like Lady Liberty has turned her last trick, the land of opportunity could spread her legs wide open with an invitation to new and undiscovered prospects. A steady job, a welcoming home, a loving family, and a car in the driveway. That's the American dream we all strive for. But, as our heroes are soon to realize, sometimes that dream can turn itself into a nightmare. I'm gonna need some money if I hope to get anything done in this town. I suppose I need a job, but I ought to find a way to advertise my much sought after employment qualities to the public first. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything around here that can help me promote myself. I think I need something else to add a message here. Fuck off. Don't touch me.
I need to go shower. Jerk off. Hi there. Absolutely. Hi, you have any jobs I can dirty my hands with? Rats. Hi there. If you got the green, nothing's too dirty for me. I wouldn't buy you for a dollar. Damn, no luck there. But I can feel gainful employment coming my way soon. Would you like to take me back to your place and pay for my deluxe services? How about you head back to your side of the border? Ah, what a shame. But I can't let that get me down. I can hear employment calling my name. Hey, need your no. gutters cleaned by any chance? That is yeah, maybe you could give my rims a spit polish. Get lost. Damn. Don't touch But I'm me. not settling for unemployment. Got any jobs for me? I'm not afraid to get down and dirty. I got $20 if you know what I mean. On second thought, forget it. Phew, this job hunting's tough work. But I'm not giving up just yet. Excuse me, do you happen to need any dirty services hey. performed? You doing if you okay? were getting paid to be a dirty beggar, you'd be filthy rich. Well, Jeez, tough care. crowd. But I know there's employment waiting for me. Hi, you have any jobs I can dirty my hands with? If you want work, just go see that Mr. Below guy at the job agency. Get out of here, freeloader. Now that's job hunting well done. I guess I better check out this job agency place. I hope the pay is good. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Watch where you're going. Kenshinga.
Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Hello? No, no, please. Ah, a new client. Come in, come in. Make yourself comfortable. Maybe loosen your belt a little. What's it you need? Yeah, my wallet's feeling a little light right now, wherever it might be at the moment. You got any jobs that pay well? You're talking to the one and only Joseph Blow, son. Finding work is my speciality. I've got all the right connections in this town to put you into the right positions where you'll be obediently performing your duties. Assuming you have the right talents, of course. <laughs> no, no more. Tell me, can you put your ankles behind your head? No. I see. Well then, I'll have to refer to my conventional occupations list. But don't worry, it's all good paying, classy stuff. All I ask is that I take my standard referral fee from your wages, naturally. Standard business practices, I assure you. Come here, let me show you what I got. The city's in need of another subsurface sanitation attendant. You'll get to see a whole nother side of our fine town. The job site's just down this manhole. We can discuss going down the other holes later. An associate is calling for an extra wildlife reclamation expert to assist him. I can tell you're the animal lover type, being a big animal lover myself. Meet my associate here and show him you're a man who's intimately familiar with the little creatures of nature. The jail, I mean the local correctional institution, is looking for um, a reformatory chaperone. <laughs> Don't be too rough on their clientele, unless that's what you're into. The institution is located here. Give them a good show of your penal quality. Yeah, yeah, chase him down, boys. Taze him! Oh, yeah, baby, put to the head. Stomp harder. Hello there, Mr. Warden. How are things in the old pokey? Ah, damn it! You better watch who you're stinking up on, punk, or else I'll lock you up with the rest of this monkey spunk. State your business. I was told you're looking to hire a new reformatory chaperone. So, another wannabe Flatfoot who thinks he can last a day in my prison. Only the most qualified and physically capable are worthy of gracing these fine halls. Now look, do you see that eye chart over there? Yeah. Good, you're hired. Now head into the next room, rookie, and I'll instruct you on the proper use of your equipment. It is in this domain I will train you to become a hardened and proficient corrections officer. 
In front of you is the training dummy you'll be using to familiarize Fuck yourself with you, your tools. Fuck you, asshole. Unfortunately, they won't let us use real prisoners anymore. Now check the open locker for your first piece of equipment, rookie. I hope you die.
Fuck off. Fuck off. Wait, 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 hang on a sec. This damn sheet is upside down. The right code is... Ah, shit! You just activated the emergency prison release! What's up, man? Listen up, rookie. You're the last guard standing in there. I got a backup team on standby, but there's no way they're getting in with the place in full lockdown mode. You'll have to go to security stations in each of the cell blocks and manually input the override code. Each station has its own code. There should be one marked in that hub room you're in. Commit that to memory and head to the cell block first.
And then fuck you. Carajo. Ow. That's the work. Nothing like a good bout of indiscriminate mayhem to remember what you're really going. It's you! <laughs> oh. Oh. Ow! Uh, this is a wonder for my psychosis. Dance, Bone Daddy! What we've got here is a failure to communicate. Just sharing some extra ammo. Ah, that's the stuff. Just my way of saying hi.
Yeah. That should plug a few holes. Ow! Yeah, that's that! Made your flesh. Fuck. Oh, I hope that was just a vestigial organ. Piece of cake. crash a party and don't worry I remember to tell them you were in here too rookie yeah I'll bet now how about the pay for my exemplary efforts don't worry about that either rookie your recruiter got in touch and I made sure to transfer all your day's wages to me oh great trust me you did a service worthy of every cent unfortunately your decisive handling of the disorderly conduct around here has ensured such further efforts will not be required anytime soon in the foreseeable future but cheer up, rookie. Play your cards right, and one day, you can find yourself a permanent residence in here. So funny. Hello. How are you? Glad to hear it. How's it going? 
how you doing? Come through. Ooh, an emergency mayoral alert. I wonder what the trouble could be. Ah, a call for public action. Maybe I'll check it out if I have time. Check out the fireworks. I don't suppose you're here to put out the blaze, are you? Hmm, I suppose I could use this hose I've already got with this hydrant. Sounds like another fire's broken out at the side of the building. I oughta head over there. Job well done, and I even get a cash bonus too. Maybe I should check out these voluntary tasks more often in the future. I'm your new wildlife reclamation expert. Ah, you must be the boy Miller sent. Just in time. I was feeling a bit peckish. 
I'm this town's local animal catcher and you're my new associate. We've got a quota of specific wildlife to meet today and I'm busy in here doing, uh, processing. So you'll be handling the legwork. Now tell me, do you have any past experience with handling felines? In a manner of speaking, yes. Excellent. Then you know the best way is to grab them by the pussy. Cats, you gotta grab those pussy cats to collect them. When you bring any cats back, just dump them in that chute over there. You understand? Seems simple enough. We also got a dog quoted to me. Grabbing them doesn't work so well. So maybe you could try those dog treats over there to make them friendly to you. When you bring them here, lead them into that feeding station. I'll take care of the rest. You got that? Uh... Excellent. Oh, and, uh, by the way, there's no trouble in bringing back any wildlife DOA. Dead? Is that what that means? <laughs> well, fresh or not, the quota's a quota. Now hurry up. I can feel my stomach grumbling. Go fuck yourself. Hey, take as many of those dog treats as you like. Frankly, I'm sick of this stuff. Ah, now that's a tender looking one. Get a look at this. Thankfully, it's not burning today. Shit. Whose hands are these? Hey, dummy, look over here. What do you make of this? <laughs> Check this out. Furry bastards, if you ask me. What the? Oof! Oof. 
Fuck you, pal. What? Huh? I feel better already. Huh? Now fuck you! Fuck you, asshole. Hey, take as many of those dog treats as you like. Frankly, I'm sick of this stuff. Ow! Oh! Gah! Ah! 
Just have to finish up the cat quota. That's the last of the cats. Excellent work, my friend. You've done a great service for our community and our fine feathered friends. Think you mean furry friends? What? Oh, right. The pigeon quota is tomorrow. Well, I'll be sending today's wages to below. Either way, we'll be dining well tonight. And done. Now I need to go shower. You do it. Doing pretty good. Glad to hear that. Take care of yourself.
That stuff works fast. Well, well, is this a visitor I see here before me? So are you picking up or dropping off? Uh, I'm here for the job. And what job is that? Subsurface sanitation attendant. <laughs> that must have been a typo. You're a sewer worker, bud. A crack cleaner. A shit shoveler. You'll be waiting knee deep in the excrement of this town's fine citizens. But don't think your hard work is going unappreciated. I'm sure the people up there are thinking of us real thankful-like every time they do their business. Now, the jobs you're gonna do are real simple for real simple folk like yourself. I'd help you, but I got a break coming up. Just head through that door, and I'll keep in contact over the radio. Also, if you see any of them other schmucks I sent earlier, tell them they're fired. Oh, and by the way, there's some pretty lethal materials down there. The kind of stuff that'll kill you real quick. So don't forget to put on your hazardous environment suit. But I don't have a hazardous environment. Wasting time, son. You're on the clock now. Here, catch. Was that me? I definitely need more of that. Stuffed up like a constipated whale. 
Clear each one of them out. That there is a city-approved excavation device. We call it a shovel. You can use that to dig out the block pipes. Tits. Here, catch. Go on. Ooh, that looks satisfying. Oof! Ow! Now that's a lot of shit. Better than the laxative. Now that's a lot of shit. Must have had Taco Bell. Ow!
Now that's a lot of shit. And let there be light. That really does liven up the place. That's enough procrastinating on my watch. I feel better already. I guess it only takes one of me to screw in a light bulb. Die, repeat. Oh, yeah. Ow. Ah, I'm back. Thanks, Jesus.
Oof. Yeah. That's enough procrastinating on my watch. Either go and change the broken bolts or fix the pump. Oh. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, that really does liven up the place. Oof. Ow. See. I hope that was yum. That of mm, I've had worse. <laughs> Nothing like a little pick me up. Two guns should be enough for anyone. That's enough procrastinating on my watch. Ow. You can hardly taste the botulism. <laughs>
Hallelujah. And let there be light. That's enough procrastinating on my watch. Either go and change the broken bolt or fix the pump. And let there... Oh, that really does liven up the place. Supposed to bend that way. Looking rat I ever seen. I guess it only takes one of me to screw in a light bulb. That's enough procrastinating on my watch. Either go and change the broken bolt or fix the pump. Hallelujah. Looks like you're getting comfortable down here. All that's left is to fix the pumps. Could you spare a small loan of a million? Ah, that's the stuff.
down here? Why not finish the job and fix the pump? Oh, that stuff really works. Ow. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Ooh, yeah. You're at the pumping station. A sewage pump here needs repair. You can find the replacement parts in the nearby storage room. That should plug a few holes.
I feel better already. That about wraps it up. Gah! Ow! Found floating in the water. This is my apartment. Is that booze? Fifty dollars minimum. Where's oh, my Did I do that? Oh, that stuff really works. I wonder what that could be. Oh, a vacancy has just opened. Suspects dropped. Ah! Two rings, and I'm finished for the day. Hey, how about some service here? Ah, our esteemed guest has arrived. Forgive my absence, but your job recruiter has booked you into the deluxe suite, and we were busy preparing your five-star experience. You're surely to be pleased with the spacious accommodations. Do you have any questions? Is there free cable? 
I assure you, there are plenty of cables. How about a complimentary continental breakfast? Anything edible you can find is free. Oh yeah, do you take pets? Oh, don't worry. We accept vermin of all kinds, including yourself. Now, uh, let me show you to your room. Have a good night's rest, fellas. And, oh, don't let the alley rats bite. Crap. What's this? A ticket for public loitering and vagrancy? Sentence, community service. <laughs> Great, what a way to start the day. Hello? Morning, kiddo. It's the one and only Joseph Below, personally checking up on my star employee. So, how were the five star accommodations? I think a few of those stars might have collapsed already. You don't happen to know of any better places to stay in this town, would you? I've got a nice home right here on my lap if you need it. <laughs> but, uh, let's discuss business before pleasure, if you know what I mean. Now, due to an unfortunate expediting of the court, I'll be taking an emergency vacation in one of those fine non-extraditionary countries for an extended period. But don't think I'd be leaving a trusted client of Joseph Below jobless. Your unconventional means have caught the attention of a business associate of mine. And he's most interested in employing your services. It would be wise of you not to refuse them. 